Hello, all. It's your girl Tiffany, Madam Luscious Black Beauty, your poetic psychic Pisces, High Priestess, aka the light that shines like a diamond. Also known as your modern day nun, one who isn't within a coven, a convent, or a covenant. I do thank you all for listening and for watching on tonight. If you would be so kind to like, share, and subscribe, it would be greatly, greatly appreciated. I do hope everyone is doing well and feeling well on tonight. This is going to be a general reading for the overall collective of any zodiac sign. Please remember that these messages may apply to your past, your present, or your future. So take the messages that apply, leave the ones that do not. And without any further ado, we're going to get into tonight's messages. Okay. So the messages we have so far is trickster, unfulfilled, and unsatisfied. Okay. We have several messages that flipped out here, okay? We have um, sneaky, freaky, creepy neighbors. They put a hit out on you to have you killed to cover their tracks. We have slow down and heal. And we have you need to rest. Okay. So, um, I think that's enough energy for right now. We're going to see what's going on with this situation here, guys. So, you definitely, somebody has a trickster in their midst okay um somebody who is um doing a lot of, you know into uh, a trickster is someone who is very sneaky very deceptive okay into tricking people conning people getting over on someone in some type of way i feel like somebody could be dealing with a person like this and you rep you're very unfulfilled and unsatisfied in the situation um this could be somebody that you are dating Okay, you just tired all the lies and the deceptions that goes along with this person, them trying to trick you into something, um, coerce or convince you of something. Okay, and so something's just unfulfilled. You're unsatisfied, you're not happy at all and with this person, with the situation that you're dealing with. Okay. Uh, and then we have here sneaky, freaky, creepy neighbors here so somebody could be involved with someone who is their neighbors or, or you could have gotten involved with someone who was originally your neighbor and maybe y'all started something up okay and you just unfulfilled and unsatisfied in this situation because this person is a trickster okay this person is a liar deceiver a manipulator a heartbreaker honey okay um i feel like this person put a hit out on you okay um to to have you killed they're trying to cover up their tracks in some type of way con uh, cover up something that they uh, done to to you or 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 something like that that they don't want to get exposed in some type of way um, spirit is saying that you definitely need to slow down and you need to try to heal this situation that you're unfulfilled in, that you're unsatisfied in, okay? And I do feel like somebody is like, um, you could be like overly energized, okay? You're like constantly on the go. You're constantly on the move. You're always doing something. And I feel like somebody who is maybe doing this in an effort to like, get away from the situation that they're dealing with to try to you know um but you're not resting you're not getting enough rest okay maybe someone is uh you know maybe you could you could be afraid to to rest around this person okay or to sleep around this person or something like that or you just are keeping yourself busy to the point where you're just not resting okay this person could be causing uh doing something to you to prevent you from being able to rest okay yeah we have here we have the death card here with trickster this person could have been involved with oh this person could have been the cause of somebody's death 
or this trickster this trickster could be trying to kill you okay either they were the cause of somebody's death and you know about this okay um which is probably the reason could be the reason why they're trying to put a hit out on you to have you killed to cover their tracks in some type of way maybe you have some type of knowledge of something that they've done or some type of evidence about something that but this trickster whoever this trickster is caused the death of someone or is trying to cause the uh, trying to cause your death okay spirit clarify unfulfilled and unsatisfied unfulfilled and unsatisfied here um, melancholy. Hmm. Uh, I'm really kind of getting, yeah. We have friend here. Okay, so this could this person could be a friend of yours, okay? Like you're not happy in this friendship, okay? Y'all could be friends with benefits or something like that, or this this person could have just just been only a friend to you. Like y'all were friends at one point in time, but you are not happy in a situation and it's it, it maybe because this person is so sneaky and creepy because of the things that they're involved in because they're a trickster they're a liar they're a manipulator in some type of way um but you're not fulfilled at all with this person you're not satisfied at all with this person we have sneaky uh, we have messenger here to clarify sneaky um freaky creepy neighbors here okay So you could be receiving, either you have or you could be receiving some type of message, okay, um, from your neighbor about this friend of yours, okay? Or you could be receiving a neighbor, or you could be receiving... You're either going to receive a message from your neighbor about this person that you're dealing with, or if this friend of yours is a neighbor, they could be giving you some type of message, sending you some type of message in some type of way. But I more so feel like that um, somebody is, is, is bringing you some type of message pertaining to this friend you have, pertaining to this person in your life here, okay? Or that you knew or that you were friends with or something like that. We are clarified they put um they could they we have consolation here okay to clarify they put a hit out on you to have you killed yeah see this friend that you had here that you were unfulfilled and unsatisfied with this person is the trickster here this person was really a foe Okay, behind your back, they was doing some things, okay? They, they, this person put a hit out on you. This person tried to sacrifice you, tried to cause your death. Okay? And I feel like you're going to get some type of information about this. Somebody's going to either uh, uh, come in to talk to you about this, um, or you're going to find out about this, okay? Okay? They could have hired a hitman to hurt you, to harm you, to kill you, to do something to you. And this may have been found out about. Okay, you also could that, that that they did that as well as there could have been something that like if you were friends with this person and, and you parted ways from this person, you distanced yourself from this person, blocked this person, cut this person off in some type of way because you were unfulfilled and unsatisfied with them. You could also, they could have gotten themselves involved in something or something could have happened where this person passed away or died and you could, you could be getting some messages about that. But this person who was your friend was really a foe. They was working with against you behind your back um and and hire someone to put a hit out on you and something could have happened to them okay to cause their death okay i do feel like that um i do feel like 
this person was into some type of witchcraft, sorcery, black magic, voodoo type of practices. They could have been, they could have been um, doing these things to you to try to cause you illness, to try to cause you harm, to try to cause your death. As well, did they uh, seek out the help of someone else? To kill you. They're trying to cover up their tracks of something that they did to you though. Okay. Spirit clarify. Slow down and heal. Yeah, spirit. It seems like spirit is telling you with this slow down. Spirit is telling you that you need to take a break. That you may have to once you find out, you know, all the information pertaining to the situation. That you you may need to take a break and you need to heal. Here we have journey here on slow down and heal. Okay, you may feel like you want to get away. Okay, you may want to take a trip, go on a journey, a move, relocate, or something like that. But spirit is with the spirit is telling you that you need to take a break in some type of way. Spirit, clarify you need rest. Okay, you this you could this has maybe you have an inkling of this or you know just a little bit about this, but you didn't realize it was so serious and things. Okay, spirit is saying that you need to rest. Okay. Yeah, we have the hope card here. Out on you need to rest. Okay, so spirit is basically telling you to basically um I feel like you feel like uh, 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 you're trying to have hope in a situation, okay? Clinging onto your faith, okay? Using courage to get through this situation. You see this person here slumped over there, feeling very tired, very worn out by this situation, by what you're dealing with, what you're going through pertaining to all of this. And this is the reason why Spirit is saying that you need to you need to heal and you need to rest from um, uh, the things that's going on, okay? The things that you're dealing with, okay? I feel like once you get... Um, all of the truth and the clarity pertaining to this situation that you're going to want to move. You're going to want to relocate. You want to go, you know, you may want to go on a journey, go on a trip, travel, do something. Okay. To get away from um, this situation here. So this person, so you can just not, you know, be in the company of any of these persons trying to harm you in any type of way. Okay. And you could be in deep thought about this here. We have thought at the bottom of the deck. You could be in very deep thought about this, which is also something that could be keeping you from getting the adequate rest that you need. Okay, Spirit, let's get some further clarification for this before we get into the tarot. Okay, yeah, we got official person at the bottom of the deck, okay? It could be an official person who is going to send you some type of message, news, information, communication. It could be an official person that is going to come to, to talk to you about uh, this, about what's going on, okay? Spirit, please give me further clarification for this reading here. Yeah, this friend, whoever this friend was, you you were once lovers with them, okay? So y'all had something a little bit deeper than a friendship. You were once lovers with them. There was something, this person was a trickster though, very sneaky, very manipulative, and things like that, okay? Um, and you were unfulfilled and unsatisfied, okay? So you went, you know, forward in a new pathway. You decided to take a new pathway in life uh, from this situation, Okay. Um, to get away from this situation. But this is someone you were once lovers with, okay? Yes, yeah, Spirit is saying that this person was a false person here. This person that you was lovers with was a false person. And that's the reason why they, they were a trickster here. We also have, we have 
message of concern as well as the coffin call you could be getting some type of message news information or communication that this person has died yeah you're gonna get some type of message news information or communication that someone has died okay this person could have been in bad health and this is what caused their death Okay, or at least that's what you're going to be told. It could be other reasons as to why um, this person passed away. But yeah, with this messenger card here, I feel like you're going to get some type of messages, news, information, or communication um, pertaining to this. Okay. Yeah. But I feel like this person, the person that you were with, they probably came off like they were very gener uh, genuine. Um, like that, you know, but it was a part of this role that they played with you. Okay. Like this person could have been lying to you and working against you behind your back the whole time you knew them. But what you, what they could not cover up or could not change was the fact that, you know, whether you could like really put your finger on things, um, you knew that you were unfulfilled and you were unsatisfied in the relationship. Okay. You had, um, you know, a feeling that something wasn't right. You didn't feel right. Um, in a situation. Okay. Spirit, give me further clarification for this reading. What else do I need to relay? to the collective about this yeah we have the death card here somebody died okay there definitely was a death so somebody could be contacting you about the fact that this person has passed away okay you could be getting some type of messages this person um This person could have died in the hospital, okay? Um, maybe they were in bad health. They could have... They, they, it, something could have happened where they had to be rushed to the hospital and they died while in the hospital. Or either they had to go to rehab or something and they ended up, you know, because of an addiction or something like that and they ended up passing away. Um, this person could have committed suicide. This person could have overdosed. Or this person could have just already been in bad health that they succumbed to. Okay? Yeah. But I feel like you're going to get some other information. You're going to get some other information about other things that, like, I feel like the reason why you're being told this is because you're also getting information to tell you about some other things that was going on behind your back here that this person was doing to you we have the ace of swords here which talks about truth which talks about clarity here okay so whoever this freaky creepy or uh, this sneaky freaky creepy neighbor is could be telling you this or um or this person um it's neighbor is, is relaying something to you. You're getting these messages from someone. Somebody is going to tell you this, okay? Whoa. We have here the tower card. So there's something that, you know, very catastrophic that happened either to this person, okay, that caused their death here, okay? But you're also going to be getting information because this person was working against you behind your back. I feel like maybe this person was bitter, was angry because you left them, because you were unfulfilled, you were unsatisfied, and you, you took this new pathway in life and you left them, and they have been working against you ever since. But really and truly, this person was false while you were in the relationship with them, okay? This person, like, tried to sacrifice you was doing witchcraft sorcery black magic voodoo on you and i feel like this it, they wish death upon you and it backfired on them and it caused their death okay yeah we have the two of cups here So whatever happened to this person is because of some type of partnership or relationship that they were in with someone Okay, that 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 uh, 
caused them to be injured and hospitalized and ended up dying or caused them um, because of a certain relationship that they were in caused it, it caused their death some type of way so this person was either killed by somebody that they were in a relationship with somebody else that they were in a relationship with or this person you know may have killed themselves because of something that went on in that relationship or um, this person had some type of addictions that stem from this relationship that they were in either way go this person died okay they may have had to go into the hospital or to a rehab like I said and they died there with this four of wands here yeah we have the five of wands here okay so this person was in competition with you this person was in causing competition conflict with you um, and this is the reason why they 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 put a hit out on you. They tried to blood sacrifice you. They tried to have you killed, and they did this because they wanted to cover their tracks and things that they did to you. Okay, things that they did to try to harm you. Okay, um, I told you this person was doing black magic and voodoo on you, or hiring witch practitioners to do this to you. Um, this person obviously paid someone to put a hit out on you to have you sacrificed. This person had you targeted. Um, um, and, and set up in some type of way. Okay. Yeah. This person also linked up with other individuals. Like people in your family. Okay. See, they, they linked up with a team of individuals, okay, to work against you. And something ended up happening to them that caused their death here, okay? And it has something to do with some type of partnership or relationship that they had with someone. And they end up succumbing to their injuries and ended up dying here, okay? Somebody is going to tell you this. Somebody's going to bring you these messages and tell you that this person has passed away as well as somebody is coming to you and telling you exactly what they was doing to you behind your back as well. Yeah. You may feel very burdened by this, okay? Um, or this person caused a lot of burdens in your life, okay? This person caused you a lot of problematic situations, okay? Um, a lot of burdens, okay, that caused you sadness, okay? Caused you heartache and pain because of this. But Spirit is saying this person showed up as false, Okay, but you are definitely going to get some type of messages cons of concern pertaining to these things, pertaining to the fact that this person has passed away, as well as you're going to get the information that th this person um, tried to sacrifice you, tried to set you up to have you killed, as well as all the other sinister things that they were doing behind the scenes. It seems as if this person is like mentally ill yeah we got the three of cups here so like i told you this person worked with a group of individuals against you this is third a third party situation here this person worked yeah yeah this they they this person tried to do was also doing this against you to try to get some type of money Mm-hmm. yeah Yeah, they were they they did this to try to get some type of money, okay? Like they were going to get paid for trying to for sacrificing you or something cuz they were in communication and connection with other people. Okay? But whomever they were working with, yeah. They were working with somebody else that's in that's um that's empowered, that's an authority, okay? An emperor figure, okay? Who may have been promising them a large lump sum of money 
for trying to take you out here this person is a uh, spirit is saying is a queen of pentacles is a capricorn taurus or virgo individual here we have the moon at the bottom of the deck so there was definitely a lot of things that was hidden a lot of things that was done in secret a lot of things that was done uh in darkness behind the scenes okay um related to the situation here Mm -mm. yeah yeah this person had a lot of things going on i did a lot of things in secret okay and uh, if you were experiencing any problematic situations in your life from the smallest things to, you know, major things happening in your life, um, it was because this person was behind the scenes doing that. This person, yeah, this person spread a lot of gossip, slander, rumors, and lies about you. Um, this person sold their soul as well. They went to the crossroads, they sold their soul, they made a deal with the devil okay and they move forward on something okay they had the motivation and determination to move forward on something to bring about an ending to bring about um to to cause a cycle to complete to cause an ending here okay which it brought about sadness and loss here um because things were secret things were hidden it, it, they were part of some type of satanic cult as well some type of uh, underground secret society as well. Okay. Yeah. This uh their the 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 witchcraft that they were doing as well, they they didn't um they wouldn't stop. I feel like this person um may have been struggling with mental illness as well as um being haunted taunted by the demons that they were conjuring up okay they were into satanism and dark magic practices okay and they would not stop doing the black magic and the voodoo i feel like this like really just overtook them okay yeah there was a king there was a king of wands as well as a king of swords a Sagittarius Aries or Leo as well as a Aquarius Libra or Gemini okay that this person was dealing with okay and um there was some type of betrayal here with the ten of swords these two people was probably involved with causing this person's death Yeah, these two people were involved with causing this person's death. Spirit, are there any other messages? Are there any other messages that I need to relate to the collective pertaining to the situation? Yeah, but you are going to, if you have not already received some type of communication, um, you are going to receive some type of communication from someone about this person's death yeah i feel like this person tried to sacrifice you but in the end they were sacrificed for money or because of money yeah and you got nothing but but that at the bottom of the deck here okay this person also was involved with trying to steal something from you take something from you that had to do with money they try to keep abundance from coming in for you. In the end, it left this person juggling for finances, money, and resources. They were involved with several other people, with a group of individual that that they that they were linked up with to work against you and to betray you. But I feel like individuals that they was mixed and mingled with um, may have even double crossed them in some type of way but overall i really feel like this person like they were doing i really feel like they were doing so many negative dark things that they were literally being haunted and taunted by this like 
this this backfired on them in a major way here this person like wish death upon you and actively this this not this was not just them saying oh i wish such and such was dead and just saying some negative you know just saying something negative and putting it out there in the universe in some type of way no this person actively um did things to try to uh to cause burdens in your life to try to cause you an ending here and it was to cover up their tracks of everything that they had done to you because i feel like at some point in time that these things started being exposed as to what they were doing what they had done um and what was going on okay yeah this death card here whatever this situation um that caused their death it was because of some type of uh, some type of love triangle that they had going on and you're going to find out about the damn we got the death card again how many times you got the death card one two three times here guys yeah they were in some type of love triangle um it seems like with multiple people but um something got exposed that may not they may not have wanted exposed or wasn't supposed to get out like if they had some type of affair going on with say um somewhere in 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 secret or in some type of way um or someone in power or something if they was involved with someone for financial reasons or for money or some something happened yeah something happened got the two of cups again the lovers the death card the two of cups something happened her their death was caused because of a relationship that they were in okay and maybe this is this was a relationship if something got exposed or something something got exposed okay in the relationship okay and it brought about disappointment. It brought about sadness. Um, and. Uh, yeah. This person. Uh, this person might have took their own life. Or overdose. Or somebody. But I really feel like somebody else was involved. With causing this person's death. Yeah we have the ace of swords. With the ten of swords. Or sorry we have the ace of cups. Ten of Swords with the Five of Wands at the bottom of the deck here. Okay, so there was some comp there was some type of competition with who they were dealing with, who they were involved with here that brought about an end to the situation. Hold on, guys. Okay, guys, I just had some paranormal activity goes on. Um, that happens <laughs> from time to time when. Um, deceased people are trying to communicate with me there was literally something that fell in my kitchen like off the top of my refrigerator with nobody even being in the kitchen it's paranormal activity it's okay i get communications from the dead all the time okay they're trying to tell me something obviously this person who has passed away is trying to tell me something okay yeah so there was extreme feelings and overwhelming emotions pertaining to a situation, okay? I feel like it's, it has to do with a love situation with a, some type of love triangle was going on, okay? Um, and there was some betrayal in this situation because there was competition, okay? So obviously... There were multiple people messing around, mixing and mingling. You got the five of cups here with the five of wands. So this disappointment, this sadness because of this competition, which brought about strife, which brought about fights, 
fussing, cussing, argument, disagreements. And this person could have been killed because of this. Or this person could have been overwhelmed by this and maybe overdosed or killed themselves because of this. Okay. Spirit, are there any other messages? Yeah. We have the Seven of Cups here. So, Spirit is saying that, you know, this disappointment, this sadness within this, this relationship or partnership that they were in which caused their death, this love triangle, this love situation. There was multiple things that was going on, multiple things that had taken place, okay, that led up to their death. There was multiple things that happened in that relationship that caused their death. Yeah, you got the magician here at the bottom of the card. Um, this person was coupled up with somebody, you know, uh, maybe just as sinister as they were. They were doing black magic, a lot of witchcraft, sorcery, black magic, voodoo. They were conjuring up demons. I told you these individuals have sold their soul, um, and they made a deal with the devil. They were under contract. Um, so it was certain things that they had to be a part of, certain things that they would have to do, certain things they were contracted and bounded by, okay? And, um... And this is why I told you, they were using, this person was using magic to even attack you, okay? Um, even when they were trying to to cause your death, cause harm and, and havoc to happen in your life. And that's why I told you, I feel like, yeah, look, I felt like, um... That this could have backfired on them. You see the the fire back there. This could have backfired on them. That magic that they was doing. It literally like overtook them. Overwhelmed them. Because I feel like this person. It was like battling mental illness. Battling these demons that was hunting them. That they were conjuring up and different things. On top of the facts of. There was a third party situation going on here. In a, a relationship that they was in, okay? Something popped off and brought something to an end here. And this person, this person... I feel like this person may have been betrayed by someone else and killed. And injured in some type of way and killed, okay? But... And it might have been covered up to make it seem like that they did something to themselves, like they overdosed or they tried to kill themselves or something like that or whatever, which, you know, is 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 possible. But I'm really picking up the energy that someone else harmed this person. Um, and it was because that some type of conflict happened, some type of betrayal happened because of competition that was going on because of third party situations that was going on here okay because spirit is already saying that uh, you know a lot of different things multiple different things a whole multitude of things was going on in this situation here okay and and this person ended up dying because of it mm -mm. yeah Yeah, and we have the Ace of Swords here. Spirit say that's the truth. That's clarity. Somebody else killed this person. This person did not kill themselves. That's two Aces here. Two Aces of Swords. Somebody else killed this person. And I feel like they covered it up to make it look like... Um, they covered it up to make it look like they killed themselves. Yeah. They were doing something. I told you. They were teamed up with other people to do something to you. Like when the hit was put out on you. We have failure here. They failed at doing something. And it caused some type of situation. I told you they were linked up either with people in your family. Or linked up with people in their family. They were linked up with a group of individuals. Which we clearly see in the first cards. Okay. There was some type of failure with doing something. Or getting something done. Okay. And these people came together. 
to betray this person. That's when this tower happened. That's when this tower collapsed, okay? And this person ended up, um, this person ended up dying because of it. Yeah, and there was a lot of things that was hidden, a lot of things that was kept secret, okay? It was up to three people. Spirit say that this is justice because of the, what the, this person had did to you and things like this or whatever, but there were up to three people involved with this person's death. But they set it up, they staged it to look like a suicide. They made it seem like this person um, killed themselves is what I, I'm picking up. So when you get these messages, when you get this information, somebody is probably going to tell you that, that this person killed themselves. You know, the, 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 the main message reasoning for telling you in the first place is to tell you that this person died. They're not going to tell you the truth of how this person's died or why this person's died. They're going to, they're going to hide that from you. This person was sacrificed. This person was murdered. They were sacrificed. Okay, spirit is saying that that is the truth, that that is clarity. But they 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 set it up to make it look like that this person killed their, themselves, but they did not. This person did not kill themselves. They were murdered. Yeah, they were murdered. But it, it, it is crazy. <clears throat> In terms of your feelings and how you're supposed to feel because you're also going to get information of just what all this person was doing behind the scenes because you can't forget that this person is a trickster a liar a deceiver a manipulator okay you was very unfulfilled and unsatisfied in a relationship with this person okay um mm. um and so you wanted a new pathway. You walked away from this situation, and this person was hell bent on trying to hurt you, harm you, harm you, cause destruction, chaos in your life, and even went as far as to doing black magic voodoo on you. Um, uh, even went as far as to having you targeted and set up, lied on you, spread gossip rumors and lies, slander about you, and even went as far as far as hiring a hitman. Okay, and which practitioner is to kill you, to try to kill you. This person was trying to kill you. And the shit that they were conjuring up, the shit that they were doing with other people, it ended up backfiring. But this person was killed. This person did not kill themselves. We have here all alone in the world. Okay, you see how she's sitting here naked? How all these things are thrown about or whatever. This person was a part of some type of witch coven. Some type of underground satanic cult. Okay. I do feel like that this person was bounded by bound by contract. I feel like this person was a part of this even when you got with them. Even when you first met them. And this was kept secret from you. You had no idea about this. Um, <clears throat> you may have found out bits and pieces about this after you all split up especially after you had start being targeted and going through different things that you were going through and knew that this person was playing a role in working against you but you may not have known just how serious it was just how what lengths they went through and how bad it was and how they were trying to harm you okay but this person i feel like was nothing was used as nothing more than a sex slave in these satanic cults okay um was used as a sex slave by and this this person also partook in i feel like maybe some type of prostitution ring or something like that okay um that they were involved in for money to get more money in some type of way um but at the end of the day, when this person was by themselves, they felt alone in this world. Like, they felt like they never had nothing, never had nobody, you know. They probably have friend, or had friends and had family, but they probably was phony in, in, in different things. And, you know, this person got, I feel like, got involved in some things, um, especially when it came to them selling their soul um, to, to ensure that, like... Uh, I feel like this person became very materialistic because they were without so much when they were younger. That they, when they sold out, they did so out of greed, out of materialism to always make sure that they, 
you know, had whatever they wanted, but it made this person very sinister, it made this person very ill, um, mentally ill, um, and they really partook in a, in a lot of dark, demonic, satanic type of things, okay, that you may not have been aware of, okay, like, while you were with this person, I feel like this person has tried to poison you, have put things in your drinks, and in your food, um, have done, even cast spells and curses over you while y'all were together, while y'all were in the same house, um, and did was a part of a lot of sinister things that you were not aware of okay but um at the end of the day like inside this person felt alone felt empty okay and um a lot of the things that they partook in was to to have some sense of validation of of worthiness of having you know this that or the other materialism was very important to them and them being a sellout them uh, you know uh, selling their soul and um uh, different different things like them having this money it gave felt, gave them some type of felt like they had some type of power over their life and the things that they wanted that they was able to get that they never had when they were young this person also went through a lot of childhood trauma okay this person could have experienced sexual abuse physical mental emotional abuse from a child going up this person I feel like was has been a part of were, uh, being a sellout to these satanic powers that be even from a child this person was probably even sold out by their parents um when they were younger and they grew up in this and a part of this okay this person um have been involved in some very sinister things very dangerous things that you may not have ever been aware, aware of but this person was very dangerous and this person is mentally ill here um and you probably wasn't aware of that either because this person is a trickster. This person is a master manipulator. This person is a master habitual liar as well. Um, and have gotten over on a lot of people. Like when you met this person and even though you ended up being unfulfilled and unsatisfied, this person had a persona, maybe played a role like they were the sweet, innocent one, the good one, the hardworking one, the, you know, I'm not saying that they were a bum. I'm not saying that they didn't work. I'm not saying that they, you know, everybody has to eat. Everybody has, you know, has to pay bills and different things like that. So this person very well may have had a regular job, you know, may have paid bills, may have, uh, uh, you know, had this persona in a, you know, but it was a whole decoy, okay? And this is what threw you off about what this person really was, what they was really about, and what they was really a part of, like, and, but inside, this person felt empty, this person felt alone, this person had to give all of themselves away and allow themselves to be used and abused in order for them to have a small fraction of something just to have what they want, and it literally turned this person into a monster, it literally turned this, you know, a cause, this, this person, you know, um, heard voices, this person, uh, demons constantly attacked this person, this person could have been involved in, um, uh, animal sacrifice, animal cruelty, if any pets came up missing or dead while y'all were together or thereafter, this person had something to do with it. This person liked the pain and the suffering of others. This person themselves also may have... Um, may have been under a form of mind control, put under a form of mind control um, at some point in time themselves. This person also probably have a high um, tolerance to pain as well. Um, something that when the, the their brain was shattered, and I, I don't I don't mean like them being busted over the head and their brain shattered. I mean, when a person goes through trauma, um, go through ritualistic type of abuse, um, from an early age, it shatters the brain. And this is how multiple personalities, this is how alter egos, um, and things are created. And, 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 um, you know, a person's, uh, 
what they what things that they went through things that they endured it's is <clears throat> it's there but it's deep down in their subconscious and there's another altar there's another personality that steps forward and takes over you probably notice with this person they are multiple different people depending on who they were around so if you've seen them around just say regular people in their family say their siblings their cousins their whatever they were a certain way if they were around their parents they were a certain way if they were around people outside of their race they were a certain way if they were around say a boss or a manager they were a certain way when they were just along with you they were a certain way they were a different person with everybody they were with this is a person who who probably has a multiple personality disorder um or a borderline dis dissociative a type of disorder um this person could have been bipolar schizophrenic or um things like that and hit it really well because i feel like this person was supposed to be on medication and taking medication but was not this person became a master at being a monster and being very sinister and this is what made them very dangerous okay um this person probably could have killed you at any time with their bare hands and you not even know that they even had this in them okay um how you can um see and notice this in certain people um from now on um if you have ever watched a scary movie with someone, if you're hanging out with someone and you watch a scary movie with someone, and say when it gets to the gruesome parts, a person get, and I don't mean like just, you know, simple things like, uh, you know, a person getting shot or maybe, you know, um, there was a, a fight and say somebody got stabbed in the arm or something like that is you you liable to see you know at any given time but i'm saying like really gruesome stuff if you was ever watching a scary movie with this person and say um somebody's head got chopped off or somebody was put in a machine like on the stuff like on saw uh, you know saw was like one of those psychological um screw with your mind that type of horror flicks where these people were being punished in horrific ways because of their lifestyles and different things is how saw was but if you were ever watching a scary movie with somebody and say somebody's skin was smooth ripped off their entire body or say somebody's head was chopped off really gruesome stuff and this person was laughing like it was humorous to them most people would cringe at the thought of seeing stuff like that or like oh my god or jump or get scared you know when the weird creepy uh very scary things happen in horror movies if this person didn't blink an eye and was laughing they are stone cold out their mind and they are deep down a freaking psychopathic serial killer themselves a ticking time bomb waiting to be triggered okay so which is also something else that you probably didn't notice okay but the people some people who are in this like they're people have no idea um there are a lot of psychopathic, multiple personality type of dis different pe people in the world, okay? And um, a lot of times when you think of, of sneaky, of creepy, freaky looking person, people automatically assume the person that looks rugged, that looks dirty, that looks like they're in rags, that, you know, slurs their speech, talk to themselves out in public, drooling at the mouth, you know, something visible to make you say, oh my gosh, I need to stay away from them, something is wrong with them, something ain't quite right about them. People have no idea just how many freaking psychopathic serial killers, multiple uh, 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 personality uh, triggerable as individuals walking sleepers that are in the world and they are in fucking business suits okay they look very clean okay they dress very well they may even speak very well they may even have a high IQ level have degrees or at least have a high school diploma okay um you know crazy and scary spooky evil wicked 
doesn't look like that today, okay? Evil and wicked is in business suits, okay? They're in their Sunday's best every day. You understand what I'm saying? And a lot of people look for the sneaky, freaky, creepy to be on a person's outside, outer appearance, okay? It ain't on them, it's in them, is what you need to understand. You know, you understand what I'm saying? Like, this person could be a doctor or a nurse and be a stone-cold killer. This person could be your babysitter. You know, this person could be, you know, this little old sweet lady that's your housekeeper. This person could be, you know, you you would never, and it's the ones that you would never suspect. The ones, and I'm telling you something else. The ones that come off as you see you, that's quiet. You think because they quiet. Because they played like in front of you that they shy. That they're all meek and timid like and things like that. You watch them closely because them be the very ones that been and hacked your ass up into a million different, different damn pieces while you sleep. And be laughing while they doing it and sit there and eat dinner right next to your chopped up dead ass body when they get through. Okay? Them quiet ones you got to watch the most. You got to make sure they are alright, okay? Because some of you got some kids that's real quiet and shit. You got to check on them every now and again because you could be raising a stone cold killer. Okay? Anyway, guys. That completes this reading. I do hope somebody, you know, this is giving somebody the truth and the clarity that you needed pertaining to a situation, either your situation or somebody that you're dealing with, somebody that you know, honey. Okay? Um, take the messages that apply. And leave the ones that do not. I thank you all for listening and for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please like, share, and subscribe. Give it a thumbs up. If you will, I would greatly, greatly appreciate it. For those of you who would like to contact me, you can do so at TiffanyZickler60 at gmail.com or at Tiff.Diamond.36 at gmail.com. However... If you prefer to contact me by phone, you can do so at 501-478-8035, okay? And um, for any persons who is interested in donating to the channel, um, it is greatly appreciated as well. I do thank you in advance. You can do so through Cash App, which is dollar sign Tiff Diamond 36, or through PayPal, which is pay, uh, paypal.me slash at 36 diamond. Okay, guys? So... As always, take care of yourselves, take care of each other, but most of all, take care of your babies, honey. Remember, this is a wicked, wicked world that we live in. There is wickedness in high places, and there is evil that is lurking around each and every corner, even in a neighborhood near you. So y'all, watch your surroundings. Watch the company you keep. Watch the surroundings and the company in which your children are in. And consider the fact that you never know when somebody may betray you, backstab you, try to hurt you or harm you, keep you some protection on you. Y'all stay awake, stay aware stay vigilant and stay prepared because if you stay ready you ain't gotta get ready baby until the next time peace love and light namaste i am that i am created in the image of god